Hello everybody, this is Neanderthal Gaming, and welcome to Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. This is a different style of game than I'm used to playing, especially on this channel. Um, but overall, I, I don't usually play this type of game. I guess this type of game being more of like a story-driven, kind of arcade-y, not, not a super tough game at all. Not a sandbox game, anything like that. Not really a strategy game, but it's kind of just... Uh, I don't even know what type of game you would call it. But uh, the reason why I know about this game is because I watched Total Biscuits' um, top 20 games to buy on the new summer Steam sale. The picnic, whatever it's called, the summer picnic sale. And this was on his list. I think it was like $1.50 or something ridiculous like that. Like as much as you, a little bit more than you would pay for just an iPhone app. And so for one of his favorite games ever, I think he might have even said it was his favorite game ever. For $1.50, I figured why the heck not try it. And I decided to make a playthrough with it. Um, so I've played through uh, maybe about 20-25 minutes of the game, and so I do have a little bit... Uh, I'm not going to be surprised by anything in the beginning, um, but one thing I am using is I'm using my Steam controller. Um, because you need two joysticks to play this game. And it's a little bit awkward, I had to change some of the controls around for the right joysticks. You could push down instead of just kind of uh, scooting it around, because that was a little bit annoying. But anyway, I'm going to do a new game. And here we go. Nayi! Nayi! Ta! Ata Nayi! Ata! So a couple things to notice. First of all, obviously that was... Um, these two are the brothers. The one in the blue and the one in the orange. Uh, the woman that died was the mother. And it took me actually a little bit to understand that this was the father. Um, kind of obvious now that you think about it. But yeah, it took me a little bit to understand that that was the father. And also... They don't speak English, obviously. I think some of the words are the same. Like, they say hey every once in a while, and they say da, I think, means dad, obviously. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, they speak a whole language that I don't think is real. And so here you go. You hold left trigger to control the little big brother, and right trigger to, call, to control the little brother. And then you just use the joysticks to move them. Oops, there we go. So usually if you're just wanting to move the brothers alone, you don't have to hold the triggers down. But since I want them to hold the cart, that's kind of like their action. So if you want them to do an action, there's not really any specific buttons. Like you don't actually use any of the X, Y, A, and B. Yeah, X, Y, A, and B buttons at all. You just use the triggers and the joysticks. And then the bumpers turn the camera. So this is kind of just getting you used to the controls, I guess, a little bit. This little area here. Oh yeah, he can't hold that, that's right. Some things the little brother can't do, and some things the big brother can't do, so you kinda gotta 
figure out which one does which. So when the brother says something like that, that usually means that the little brother has to do something first. And vice versa. So this one took me a little bit to figure out, but as with all puzzle games, they're pretty simple. I haven't had to look up a walkthrough yet. Oh, I have to do this part first. Uh, also, I think the big brother kind of gives hints sometimes when he points. And also you can control both at the same time, which is kind of cool. with a regular PlayStation or Xbox controller, this would be a little bit easier. As this was not made with uh, Steam controllers in mind, I don't think. Oops. So basically what I gather from this is their, their father is sick, the only way to save him is with this certain something, I don't know if it's a plant or like a potion or a person that they need to go find, um, but obviously there's a the little map there um, with the picture of a tree and roots, so I'm assuming it's like some plant we have to get from somewhere, and this is like the, the doctor of the town or the maester, something along those lines. And from what I've gathered, also there's no items in this game, so it's really a simple game uh, in terms of gameplay. But it's so far what I've experienced is just amazing. And so this guy is a jerk. He doesn't let you through. Don't worry, there's always another way. Also, because of that whole scene with the mom, the little brother is terrified of swimming. his jerk again. Not sure why he's a jerk, but he is a jerk. Oops. Didn't mean to go up there. Uh, did I just get stuck? No. Uh, 
Um. Hey, Naya! I might have broken in a little bit. Hey, Naya! <laughs> this didn't happen last time. Uh, let's restart from checkpoint. That, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Oops. Oh, you're right here. Good. So it also is auto jumping, which is nice. So that's kind of taken care of. The only thing that really needs button clicking, the only thing I'm clicking buttons for is when I'm uh, holding on to something like this. I'm holding the triggers. So what I've noticed also is there's these little dopey little side things you can, these benches especially, not always benches, but just people that you just kind of interact with. Like you can just sit on this bench and enjoy the view, it has nothing to do with the actual game. And I don't really care because that looks amazing. <laughs> um, and so yeah, every time I see a bench, I'm just kind of obligated to, you know, just kind of sit down and enjoy for a little bit. And even... Um, as you'll see in a little bit, there's like a, a guy playing the harp, uh, and the brother, the big brother, sucks at playing the harp, but the little brother is really good at it, and so it's just it has nothing to do with the story. It doesn't progress anything at all, but it's just something that they added, and so therefore it's kind of cool. So yeah, I'm sure I won't hit everything in this playthrough, obviously, um, but I will try to get through as much of the little cool Easter, not even Easter eggs, they're just cool parts of the game. There's a jerk boy again. For some reason, he's terrified of the smallest dog in the pound there. <laughs> there he is. Good riddance. So, something like this, for example. It's just a guy. This cat. You can kind of just talk to his cat. And it just kind of loops. But then, if you let the little brother talk to him, it's probably something different. I haven't actually talked to this guy ever. See, that's him. the cat likes him for some reason. I don't know. Just dumb little things like that. Out of the way, have nothing to do with the story. Just kind of cool. Um... another bench. Also, you could have both of them sit on the bench. Look at that. I am a sucker for Rays of Sunshine, by the way. Um, I just actually got back uh, a week ago from a trip to Europe. Uh, I went with one of my friends to visit one of my other friends, who was a foreign exchange student uh, quite a while back, like three years ago, and he took us on a tour. <laughs> Of Austria and Italy and a little bit of Germany um, and one of my favorite pictures that I took was inside of one of the beautiful churches uh, it was about 10 a.m. and the light was shining through the windows and it was just gorgeous rays of sunlight one of my favorite pictures um, I'm actually working on a slideshow kind of thing that I'm gonna post on YouTube once it's done but I'm waiting for some of my fr the two friends to dump some of their pictures into the Dropbox so I can use those so Look forward to that. That's going to be pretty cool. Just going to be my coolest pictures as well as um, some cool music in the background and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, I think that will be enough for this episode. I'm going to finish this one with this little mini cutscene and that will be it. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. I think I got the name right. Uh, and look forward to more episodes of this because I'm really looking forward to playing this game. So thank you all for watching.